This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Guys, it's Caravan of Garbage. Oh, what have you bloody dragged us into this time, mate? Oh, come on, mate. You You know, I always bring to Caravan of Garbage some quality comic books. And today? Oh, no, I've made a mistake, actually. (laughs) I've I've, I've brought a terrible one. Iconic, though. It is iconic, actually. Mm. Everybody icon- knows this image. Everybody, everybody knows one particular image from this story, which I think we should we'll get to. Yeah. Uh, and it's been referenced, I think, maybe in, in a Deadpool comic many years later. Mm. And and I'm like, what is the? Where did that come from? So I'm like, I'm going to track down the original issue of this. You can find it on eBay. You can find some terrible scans of it if you want to track it down. Yeah, that's what you're looking at right now. <laughs> it's exactly. I've done my best to yes. fix these up, but not good. These look like they've been passed through a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was the seventies. So this is the pro- this is the product of the seventies. So America had if uh, if you're if you're a young lad or lass who wanted to learn how to read, he's saluting America. America had everybody. America, uh, America had the Electric Company. Yeah, which was a TV series teaching kids to read. It featured Morgan Freeman and sometimes Bill Cosby. Boo. Oh. But one of the features of the ele- the Electric Company, they partnered with Marvel, and there were Spider Man's like live action Spider Man sketches. That's a that's a Spider Man we haven't really talked about on, okay. on the podcast at all. But basically, what would happen is he would he would have sort of these very tame battles with tame villains, some of which I think were invented for the show. Budget he, reasons, I'd imagine. Exactly, budget reasons. But Spider Man wouldn't speak out loud. He would have speech bubbles, and the, and his what he said was in the speech bubbles. So you had to read. So you had to learn to read. Otherwise, exactly. you didn't know what the fuck was happening. I would have refused. Yeah, I I'd don't have been do like, that. I'm just gonna guess. I don't go on television to read. Mm. I go on television to watch Spider Man beat up generic villains in the seventies, <laughs> like the blowhard, like the blowhard, like the blowhard. Was that, was that a villain? That was a real one, I believe. Great. Uh, anyway, so is that so, named after your dad? Oh, come on, mate. Or you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, you can na- name a third member of my family. I don't know your sister that yeah, well. Okay, nice. No, yeah, got her. You got her. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Marvel released, to capitalize on that, I guess, they released an additional Spider-Man book for young readers called Spidey Super Stories, yeah. which went several years after the Electric Company finished. So it just kept, kept on going. Them out. What, a, what a golden age of comic books. I don't think that's the right expression. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, but it went like 50-something issues, and it was adaptations of stories from the from the electric company and it was also original stories where spidey and like various other heroes i guess tackled villains that were too big budget to be on the yes. show so it's like it's like we've got an unlimited budget now let's have him let's have spider-man fight thanos yes so that's that's <laughs> that's what's going on in spidey super stories number 39 which was from 1974 they could have got andre the giant they, they could have made they could have got they could have got Lou Ferrigno. Uh, Lou Ferrigno. Exactly. Yeah. oh perfect they could get him now they get him now he's, he's still it. alive right yeah he's still alive though he does voice some of the hulk now that's true he does yeah you're but right he's, yeah. he's still in the so anyway, so, but this is a bumper issue. Yeah, right. it's, it's Spider-Man. He's fighting the impossible man at one point. It was like this shape-shifting guy. No wonder that, that wasn't on the TV series. Mm. He turns but, into a baseball bat. He, he turns, turns into a regular bat. He <laughs> turns into a teacup. Exactly. That's all, what I've seen from just the, skimming this. Exactly. I, I didn't read this thoroughly. You did. Yes. I, I'm just looking at this like, what is any of this? There's a, there's a, there's a, is there a narrative or is this just random images? <laughs> <laughs> the first story, it's Spider-Man and Ms. Marvel team up at a feminist rally yes. to battle a guy selling sodas out of a cart on the street that makes all the feminists fall asleep. So he can then pickpocket them? Wasn't this in a Bill Cosby era, right? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Blah. All right, anyway, let's skip that one. Let's skip to... So there's a little bit of a teaser early mm. on. Uh, there's like a splash page that's like, what is the Cosmic Cube? And we see some AIM scientists. It says evil scientists invent the Cosmic Cube, but it's AIM. Right. Uh, everyone wants it because it can do almost anything. And then Thanos just shows up and he's holding the cosmic cube. He's like, I've got it. I've got I it, want guys. this. I, I want it. And I've got it. And he's like, I'm going to take over the world. Right. Cut to like 10 pages later. And Wait, what happens in between? The, it's, 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 it's Spider-Man fighting with the Impossible Man. Okay, it's, right. It's, yeah. it's, it's, then that, that goes away. There is a lot in this. There's a lot to pack in. He's right? a baseball bat. He's a regular <laughs> bat. He's a teacup. What's he doing? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. You can't pin him down. No. But then it cuts to, and I, I guess you've got to use your imagination here. It's <laughs> the cat, uh, originally Patsy Walker, yes. teen heartthrob. We've seen in uh, the Netflix series. In, in Jessica Jones, yeah. Trish Walker, who's currently the cat. She's on a rooftop. Mm. She's somehow got a hold of the cosmic cube, and above her is Thanos in a bright yellow Thanos copter. <laughs> it's the Thanos copter. <laughs> Did he conjure it using a cosmic cube of sorts? Or did he bring it with him on his journey to Earth? Why wouldn't he just fly? 
I, I don't know. Did don't... AIM build it? But it's Thanos sized. It's yellow. So maybe AIM built it? <laughs> maybe he saw the helicopter and he's like, Cosmic Cube. Personalize this helicopter for me. It's very and it just odd. Drew Thanos on the I tail. think that's must that must have been what happened. Yeah, right. He's half hanging out of it, having uh-huh. a look as well. Mm. Like what's anyway, going on here? This 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 is a series of terrible. They're, they're not a match either. They're absolutely those two. not. Like at all. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's a, he's the Mad Titan with incredible cosmic abilities, and she's she can climb walls sometimes. She also makes cat based. Puns. There's so many. Cat There's a moment puns here where she says, "Oh, oops! I've dropped the cosmic cube." No use crying over spilled milk. It's spilt milk. I thought this was for reading. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're going to get emails. So, so spilt is the Australian UK way to say it. Oh, spilled okay. Is, is That's a, what's happened the here. Day is just, just. Well, who invented the English language? That's we, right. We did, didn't the we? Australian. That's right. <laughs> Paul Hogan did it. That's right. We invented it on Play School. No electric company for us. In this story, the Cosmic Cube seems to be able to do almost anything except enable the user to get a firm grip on it. Because it's just people dropping it constantly. It's slippery as all business. Do you, think, do you think it's like a snail? Do you think it excretes like some sort of... Slick slime because yeah, right. we don't get a sense of that in the movies, do no. we? No, it's this device. Do you think like any time like Loki mm. or, or or Thanos gets a hold of it, they're like, "Behold my incredible power!" And inside, they're like, "This is so yuck. <laughs> this is real yuck." But I can't look weak. I'm holding this yuck cube. Oh. <laughs> If it was circular, it would make sense. Yes. Or shaped like a slippery eel. Yeah. That yeah, makes sense the, the to cosmic me. cosmic eel, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I see a little boy gets it. Yeah, so... so <laughs> and he just wishes yeah, so she, she, for an ice cream. The cat falls into an alley. A little boy named Speedy the Skateboard Hero gets it. Yep. He's... he's I mean, and you, you know what? You're, you're, a, you're a kid in the Marvel Universe. Why wouldn't you call yourself a hero? Because there's hundreds of better heroes out there. He's just a boy in brown slacks. He's a boy in brown slacks and, and a, a Jughead hat. Yeah, I don't... Which apparently were popular. Yeah. That's a real hat. Okay, right. You, do you believe it? With nerds. Like it's a nerd hat? I, no, I think it was like a it was like a punk rock thing. That is not a punk rock thing. I mean, not now. Looks like something that Peter Pan would wear and get beat up. But it's for. like a it's like a bowler hat or something, and they cut you cut the top off and you turn it around, and then it's a jughead hat. So that's pretty punk rock. Am I right? No, that's the opposite of punk rock. Oh, that's all right. You well, think agree you're... to disagree? <laughs> <laughs> I think no use punk crying rock. over spilled well, hats. Yes, exactly. Anyway, the cat approaches him mm. and he's like, "Have you seen this cosmic cube?" And he's like, "Nup." <laughs> and then she goes, "Okay," and she leaves, and he's. Just outsmarted her because he put it under his jughead hat. He's like, oh, man, I've done it. i got as much ice cream as I want. How many do I want? One. (laughs) Just one. Oh, yeah, good point. He summons one. Yeah. He doesn't have it for long, though, I I see here. Well, it probably slipped out of his hand. Well, it just looks like Thanos is assaulting him in the park (laughs) for it. (laughs) Which... I enjoy because he wants... Thanos' goal is to take over the world. Yes. You know, well, realistically, his, his goal is to annihilate half of the life in the universe. Mm -hmm. But he's not going to just atomize the kid. He's going to harass him in the park. (laughs) Oi! Oi, give me this! Give it up! Get get your hand off it. Also, he doesn't do a lot of skateboarding, does he? Like, initially he's on a skateboard, and then he's just not on a skateboard. No more skateboarding, yeah. Yeah. Uh Great, good on him. Anyway, the scuffle in the park between the super strong mad titan and a small boy (laughs) attracts the attention of Spider-Man, who's like, hey! What are you doing? Get up, get out, get out of here! None of that! Yep. That, stop it. Thanos, he's, he gets the cube. He wants. To, he's going to rule the world. So he gets double teamed by the cat and Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. And and what, what can Thanos do, you know, besides, you know, he, he's, he, he can do anything again. Mm. He's got, he's, he can, what's the Tesseract do again? It's the Power Stone. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's the Space, space. Stone. Can, okay, well, he, yeah. can send, he can send Spider-Man and the cat in, through a black hole. But this one can do literally anything, do right? Liter- yeah, the yeah. Cosmic Cube can do literally anything. So he chooses... So conjure a dog. Yeah. A, 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 it's a big dog. It's not like... If I saw that dog in real life, I'd be like, big dog. It's enormous. But I wouldn't be like, that's crazy. Would you climb up a tree like a coward? Well, if I was a cat, cat I would. Does. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It right. looks like about the, the size of the dog from the Sandlot. It's still a pretty big dog. I agree. <laughs> but it's not... If it was like Clifford the Big Red uh-huh. Dog, I'd be like, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Would you? Why doesn't the dog say Thanos on the side if he's branding stuff while he's at it? <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Yeah. Maybe it's on the underside. Yeah, it you might be. Say actually, it. it's yeah. a bit of subtle. <laughs> it's like it's like you know one of those cars has got the neon lights underneath it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know. I get you. Anyway, if if you were Spider Man and and you were being approached by a by a large threatening dog, 
would you just kick it? I kick it so hard. Because Spider-Man just kicks it. (laughs) Okay, good. We're on the same page then. (laughs) And of course... Anyway, they team up against Thanos. That dog leaves. That's out there in the universe somewhere. It doesn't disappear. It runs off. That's true. He conjures it out of nothingness. And then where does it go? Probably eats the kid. Probably eats a homeless man. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway... Its eyes are askew as well. Anyway, they they they're like, okay, he didn't make it right. It's not right. <laughs> its eyes are weird. Well, he's not a he's not a some sort of. Dog. I will conjure a skew-eyed dog, <laughs> slightly bigger than a regular dog. It can be kicked. <laughs> I want to specify that. Nobody kick it though. <laughs> I've just revealed its weakness. Everybody scouts on her. Don't kick the dog, <laughs> if you if you please. But anyway, he learns from his mistake, and he's like. Okay, well, now I'm going to stop you guys. I'm going to stop someone with the agility of a cat and, and a man who can leap hun- hundreds of feet in the air. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll... It's a bit of an exaggeration. 50 feet in the air? I mean, well, you can I, use a web, a, a web spring. <laughs> okay, you know, right. What's that thing he does? Yeah. Like a slingshot. A hammock. Yeah. He'd use yeah, a hammock. He'd use a hammock, Anyways, yeah. like, well, what I'll do is I'll just I'll create an earthquake. Yeah. The, the, but that, of course, is his undoing because pride cometh before a fall, obviously. Boy, boy doth it. Because he's like, oh, no, I've let go of the cube. <laughs> I myself have fallen over. Why did he summon the earthquake around himself? I just as want to well? be clear: the dialogue is because it sounds like I'm doing the standard thing of, of reducing somebody's dialogue to the dumbest possible element. Sure, but the exact dialogue is: "Oops, I let go of the cube." <laughs> and Spider Man says, yeah. "You were too tricky for your own good, Thanos." And, and he was, was, wasn't he? Yeah. He should have. <laughs> I like this. I'm not licked yet. And they're all just crawling towards it. <laughs> just three <laughs> tired toddlers. It just looks like a game of hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> For the most powerful weapon in the universe. <sighs> Except they're, of course, beaten to it by, by Speedy, the yeah. skateboard superhero. He is Speedy. He, yeah. Speedy by name, Speedy by where's his skateboard. Yeah, right. Where is it? <laughs> Who uses, again, the incredible unstoppable powers of the Cosmic Cube to, like, get some grass and wrap Thanos up in it. Very and good. Thanos, again... Vulnerable to grass. Yeah, he is. That's as, true. as we know. Then he's um He's arrested. Then he's arrested by the police. By just like NYPD. We got this, fellas. Maybe even like park security guards. It doesn't look like a cop car. Yeah. It looks like a yellow cab that they're taking him away in. <laughs> yeah, they're like, come on, get come on, mate. You've had a few. <laughs> get in here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh man. Just sleep it off, all right? Where do you live? Titan? <laughs> These are Look, thi- the, the cab driver doesn't want to go to Titan. It's a, <laughs> no. It's a rough neighborhood. I mean, he's not gonna get a fare back as well, is he? No, he's going to have to pay for that fuel. Yeah, you know it. Oh, and of course, Peter Parker turns up at the end and he's like, what What did I miss? And then like, you missed all, there's so much. There was an earthquake. There was a big dog. Got yeah. kicked, luckily. <laughs> a man got wrapped up in grass. <laughs> <laughs> he's arrested. Yeah. He's in that taxi. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the, a kid turned hundreds of passers by into ice cream. It was horrific. You didn't, I, that was off panel. <laughs> what happens to the cosmic cube? Um, the kid gives it to the cat. Oh, yeah. And then... Well, she swings away. She swings away, but she's she not doesn't have it, it on her. Like, unless she's tied it she's into a dropped, sash belt. She's dropped That's it. That's what I'm saying. She just <laughs> dropped it. And she didn't want to admit to it. She's just, she's just like, well, time for me to go. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I know this one is clearly intended for kids and people who can't read. Yes. But this is just nonsense. How dare you? What, are you, what, what am I even looking at in any of this? You know what it needs? It needs a post-credit sequence. <laughs> you, okay, we need... What we need, because it's Marvel, we need a serious post-credit sequence. Uh-huh. And we need a silly post-credit sequence. And I think the silly one is, yeah. right at the end, we see the dog flying away in the Thanos copter. Okay, that's, sure. That's, that's number one. <laughs> okay, we could say that, but this one actually does have a silly post credit scene and a serious one. Yes. It's got the wit of the web slinger, which yes. I assume is a joke. Here we go. He's <laughs> Here a, we go. He's, he's at a farm. Yep. There's a very surly looking farmer leaning How against the railing. It's not important, all right? There's no... You're missing the point. There's points. no skyscrapers. In... He can only leap in 27 comedy, feet. In comedy, you Mason. You would establish that, yes? In comedy... Yes. It's not about... It, look, it's not, it doesn't matter what the rules of the universe is. It just yes. matters if it's funny. So That's let's just see if true. this is funny, all, all right? right? Okay, all right. He says, why did you name your pig Ink? Yes. And the farmer says, because it keeps running out of the pen. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make sense. What do you uh, mean the pen? Yeah, the pen. A pen. That's again. <laughs> I don't know about. I don't know about the wording of any of this. Oh, God. And then Spider Man's like, "I make the jokes here, old man." He just snaps his neck. <laughs> serious ending. But then, of course, there is a serious ending where it says, uh, "Don't forget th- to read." There's a march 
Mm. Is this is this the march that ties back to the the feminism? I think it does. March yeah. from earlier, and it just says read uh, Spidey super stories. So that's a serious ending. Yeah, nice. You're like, listen, here's your post credits. There's going to be another one. So read these. <laughs> yeah, all right? That's right. You want a further adventure? Hold on to your hats and cubes and because hold it's on all your, coming. Exactly, and hold on to those dimes because you're going to need to spend some sweet coin on. Spider-Man Super Stories, number 40. <laughs> this is pretty fun. I like this. Did you? Yeah. It's not good. No. But what is? Most things aren't. You know what I enjoy about this is that if they attempted to make this now, it would be torn to shreds by men in their 30s and 40s. <laughs> oh, going, you mean like we're... Yeah, like we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, as we've aptly demonstrated. No, but yeah. I mean more in the sense of like... These power levels are wildly inconsistent. <laughs> this is Marvel should be ashamed of themselves. Oh wow! Get this right. Yeah. It says at the end, mm. encloses my check. You can send this off or money order for four dollars fifty. Well spent for twelve monthly issues. Four fifty for twelve issues. That's a that's bloody not bad. Bug. That's yeah. a bloody that's a bloody baker's wage, I believe, from the seventies. <laughs> you better is believe that not? it. A baker's wage it's is a son's ba- wage. It's, it's, it's a yeah. Very good. It's Baker's Wage. Great. What a great time. Uh, I love comics. I love Avengers. I love Thanos. I love slippery cubes. I love dogs, cross-eyed dogs that yes. get kicked. Some yeah. of my favorite things. Do you think there's going to be a reference? Look, when we're making this, yeah. Endgame isn't out yet. Correct. Do you think any of the Infinity Stones are going to slip out of anybody's hands? I don't... Look, that doesn't concern me. Maybe the ether would. Yeah. Because it's so... Ugh. It's woogly googly, isn't it? It's woogly googly, isn't it? I think there's also a very good chance that we'll get a helicopter reference. <laughs> for real I think it's a fun thing that people know yeah uh-huh. and I think at some point we could very well see it I'm gonna I'm gonna bet money on it if it's not in Endgame I'm gonna give myself the Hawkeye haircut <laughs> oh my god the original one so just a, the yeah, just haircut, a regular... the haircut you have now pretty <laughs> yes. much okay right you go to my you go to your barber and be like give me the thing that I had last time and he'd be like alright I'll do it alright this is Caravan of Garbage though we do this every Tuesday if you've got a suggestion for a caravan of garbage. Could be a comic. Mm. Could be a video game. Yes. Could be a TV show. Ooh. Could be a movie. Oh. Doesn't matter. Mm. We'll give it a look, see. As long as it's short. As long as it's short. As long as we can make fun of it. Also, uh, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. We do that every Monday morning. Yes. If you like Avengers Endgame, we've got one about that very movie. Oh. Check it out if you can or will. And when and can and when and how. And do. And what. And Whomst? <laughs> yes, correct. Mm. Thanks, everybody. Have grab, a good time. Grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's, it's up to you.